<laughs> Next from Brian Dunlap. Here's the, our, our resident Mark that has booking ideas all the time. The subject is WCW road agent threatened to slice the throats of Eddie Guerrero, Perry Saturn, Chris D. Malenko, or and Chris Benoit. Uh, hello, Conan Disco. I recently watched a video from Cultaholics Wrestling YouTube channel, specifically the one titled The Radicals Bail on WCW in a Carefully Planned Mutiny slash War Stories. At the 1539 mark, the narrative brings up a story which alleged the WCW road agent threatened to slice the throats of the future radicals when they asked out of the company. Cultaholic uses Guerrero's mem memoirs as their main source for this claim. Eddie apparently perceived the road agent's threat of violence to be angry talk. But he managed to leverage it against the company, resulting in Man Malenko, Benoit, Saturday, Guerrero getting an unconditional release, meaning they could work for any wrestling company whenever they wanted. The Radicals arrived in WCW WWE soon after leaving World Championship Wrestling in January 2000. What do you know about the story involving a WCW road agent allegedly threatening violence on Guerrero, Benoit, Malenko, and Saturn for asking to leave the company? I don't even have to see this video because unless Conan. You had some insight to these guys when they were leaving. Yeah, that was um, Mike I know Graham. exactly who it was. Yeah, who? Mike Graham. Mike Graham. Oh, it's true. Yep. Like he was talking about slicing their throats. He was talking about violence against them. I don't remember if it was slicing the throat, but you know, Mike Graham to me was very weird because when I grew up in Miami, like my idols for wrestling at that time was like Graham, Dusty, right? Dusty Rhodes, Jack, Jack and Jerry Briscoe. <laughs> Uh, Mike and Eddie Graham. Eddie Graham was a promoter. He was the dad. He was incredible. And Mike was a great amateur wrestler. He was a power lifter. But he good, was a great work. Great Thank worker. You. Yeah, good on promos. Right. But when he came yeah. to when he came to WCW, he just seemed like a bitter guy. I was very disappointed in what I saw. And I remember every time he he was only a little bit taller than Ray Mysterio. And every time he would see him, he'd go, "Hey, short." but like in a very derogatory manner. And I'm thinking to myself, you ain't tall, you know? Yeah. And, uh, and I remember that he also said uh, to uh, Kevin Sullivan, let all those go. The only guy that's worth anything is Chris Benoit. Yeah. yeah. Well, he was like your typical like guy, old school wrestler that never got out of the Southern Territory. You know, right. so kind of like, you know, and let me just say, when, like, when, you know, like old school guy, you know, like you know, when he said right. none of those guys are can make money, he was referring to not just Perry Saturn and Eddie Guerrero and Dean Malenko, but to me, Billy Kidman and Shane Douglas, because we all asked for our release. At and the Ray, same time. too, right? No, Ray did not no. ask for okay. it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah, interesting. 